In this example, we're going to add integers using a number line. Use a number line to find the following sums. So our first sum is 5 plus 3, and both 5 and 3 are negative. Notice up here I wrote that we're going to use a black pen for positive numbers and a red pen for negative numbers. So we're going to start at 0 and go to 5 for our first addend. So we've moved up 5, and now we need to add on another 3 for our second add end. So notice the distance here from 0 to 5 is 5, and the distance here is 1, 2, 3. So 5 plus 3 equals our result of 8. Let's look at the next one negative 5 plus negative 3. So let's get our red pen and we're going to start at 0 and go to our first add end which is negative 5. So we've moved negative 5 and now we're going to add on another negative 3 which would be 1, 2, 3. 3 in the negative direction. and the total gets us to our sum, which is negative 8. So we have negative 5 plus negative 3 equals negative 8. Let's look at the next examples. In these two examples, notice we have both a positive and a negative number. So in the first one, 5 is positive, so we're going to start at 0 and go 5 in the positive direction. But now we need to add on a negative 3. So notice, negative 3 from 0 would look something like this. So this is what we need to add on from 5 over here. So we're going to take this 5 and we're going to go 3 in the negative direction. So notice how these are representing the same quantity, just at different starting points. I'm going to erase this one, because it's not part of our problem, and our result is 2. So 5 plus negative 3 equals 2. And that's the final place we land. For the next one, we start at negative 5, so we'll use red for that. So starting at 0, we go to negative 5, which takes us here. And notice positive 3 moves us 3 in the positive direction. So we want to use this piece, but starting from negative 5. So actually I'm going to go underneath 1, 2, 3 in the positive direction. And that takes us back to negative 2. So we have negative 5 plus 3 equals negative 2.